In order to keep your guitar both playing and sounding great, it's important to make sure that it has a fresh set of strings and a proper setup. How often you should change strings really depends on how much they're played and on their environment. We recommend changing strings at least once or twice a month. Using a consistent gauge of strings reduces the amount of work needed as compared to when switching to a different gauge. Before you can change the strings on an 8-string guitar with a hip shot fixed bridge and give it a complete tune-up, you'll need wire cutters and two different sized Phillips head screwdrivers for truss rod access and to adjust the pickups. You can use a flathead screwdriver to adjust the intonation, but the bridge is also designed to work with a Phillips head screwdriver. From your user kit, you'll need the truss rod wrench. You'll also need Allen wrenches in the sizes of 2.5, 2, and 1.5 millimeters. To help with truss rod adjustment, a business card can be useful. Lastly, you'll also need a tuner. In order to minimize stress changes on the instrument, we recommend changing strings one at a time. First, loosen the string and cut it near the middle. This makes less to pull through the bridge and it lowers the risk of any scratching. Unlock the trim lock and remove the string from the machine head, pushing the other half through the bottom of the bridge. Insert the new string through the back of the body and up through the machine head. Pull all the slack from the string and tighten the trim lock into place. Tune to the desired pitch and cut away the excess. Repeat this process on the remaining strings one after the other. If your tuner has trouble with the lower notes, you can tune using the second harmonic found at the 12th fret. If the thicker strings are too long and the wand part doesn't fit through the machine head, you'll have to unwind part of the string until it fits correctly, cutting away the unwound excess. You can improve your initial tuning stability by pressing down on the strings just in front of and behind the nut as well as just in front of the saddles. To check if your truss rod needs adjustment, press down on the first and last frets of your guitar. A properly set neck has a gap at the ninth fret of between 0.1 and 0.3 millimeters, which is about the thickness of a business card. To make any adjustments, remove the truss rod cover with a Phillips head screwdriver and set the truss rod wrench into place. Turning the truss rod to the left loosens it letting the neck bend forward, increasing the gap found at the ninth fret. Tightening to the right decreases this gap. Always make gradual adjustments and retune after each adjustment. After you're done, you can put the truss rod cover back into place. Because it takes time for the neck to adjust completely, you should check your neck again after about an hour and once more the following day to see if any further adjustment is needed. After the neck is adjusted, you can check the string action. Although everyone has their own preference, we set guitars using an optimal string height of 2 mm for the top string and 1.5 mm for the bottom. A simple way of checking this is by placing a 2 mm Allen wrench between the F-sharp string and the 12th fret, making sure not to leave a gap. Using a 1.5 mm Allen wrench, do the same with the high E string, also without leaving a gap. Make any adjustments using a 1.5 mm Allen wrench. It's important that the string action conforms to the radius of the neck. Be sure to check this and make any adjustments accordingly. After retuning, you can see how this action works for you. Pickup height also varies according to personal preference. As a pickup gets closer to the strings, its output is increased, but sustain is decreased. To achieve the best of both worlds, we set pickups to a distance of 2.5 mm for the top string and 2 mm for the bottom. By placing an Allen wrench of the appropriate size on top of the pickup and pressing down at the last fret, you can see if the pickup needs to be higher or lower. Make the adjustments with a Phillips head screwdriver, doing so for each pickup and on both sides of the pickup. In order for a guitar to be in tune all the way up the fretboard, each string has to be properly intonated. After checking that the strings are in tune, check each string at the 12th fret. If the note is flat, the saddle needs to be moved closer to the nut. If the note is sharp, 
Then it should be closer to the bridge. Make the adjustments in small increments using a screwdriver. Retune the string and check it again at the 12th fret. After repeating this process for each string, your guitar will be fully set up and ready to go.